Hi, my name is Christopher Malcolm. I'm a Los Angeles-based lifestyle, fitness, and activewear photographer and director. And today I'm going to talk to you about my series, Atlas. The Northern Lights, hear my winter song. With feet of light, they dance along. Old ones, I pray you dance on earth. Let people see their spirits worth way Success is hard work. You know, I think people tend to look at uh, a great athlete and they'll look at him and her, they'll see him standing on the podium, they'll see him uh, winning the big game, and they'll say, boy, I wish I, I had those gifts. I wish I was talented like that. Um, but what people don't see is all the hard work that went into getting to that point. What they don't see, you know, are all the, the 5 a.m. sprints. What they don't see are all the two-a-days. What they don't see are all the, um, all the sweat the toil, the, the dedication that went into getting to the athlete to that point. And the secret is that the actual difference between the great athlete and the kind of common man is uh, not quite as far as we might think. You know, I think if we were able to, or willing, to put in hard work, to put in the time, um, that we could get to reach our goals as well. Uh, again, it may, may never actually be six foot six, but we can be a champion in our own right. With the Atlas series, I really wanted to show someone putting in that work, someone putting in that effort, someone taking the time to be the best. I teamed up with Katrina Judge, who's a former track star and volleyball player who's now modeling. Uh, and we just met up here at a stadium, at Drake Stadium here in Southern California, and got to work. I decided to go with Natural Light on this project because I wanted to get, I wanted to feel as real as possible. You know, I wanted it to feel authentic. I didn't want it to be, um, any airs of falsehood. You know, the human eye is used to seeing sunlight at all times. You know, subconsciously, I think it plays on the audience and it allows them to kind of feel like what they're watching is more real. The other benefit to shooting in natural light is that it allows you to move quickly. Um, you know, I mean, we were shooting in a, a fully functional track stadium with other athletes there that were not there for a photo shoot. So we need to be able to kind of read and react um, to different situations, uh, to continue to move quickly uh, and get what we needed to get, um, while at the same time, you know, kind of respecting uh, the, the world that we were in, respecting the, uh, the, the life that was going on around us. There's also the other benefit of natural light, which is um, also subconscious, is, is, is working with the subject. You know, most track stars, you know, most, most athletes are not used to uh, a strobe popping in their face every time they take off from the starting block. The more natural an environment that you can create, the more natural the end product is gonna feel. In this case, by using kind of the sun, you can kind of work with the talent and just kind of coax a natural performance out of them and encourage them to just basically be realistic. You know, uh, what would it really be like if they were training on the, on the course at that moment? Just do that. The lack of artificial light uh, reinforces the idea that this is, you know, just a real thing. You're just really training and there's nothing um, special that you need to do. You just be you. Of course, there are downsides of working with natural light. Uh, you know, some people will say, well, okay, just grab a camera, go outside and it's easy and you'll, you know, anybody can do it. Um, well, it's a little more difficult than that. Um, you know, the thing about the sun is that it moves. It's not always in the same place. One time of the day, it's over here. At another point, time of the day, it's over there. The sun also likes to dart kind of in and out from behind clouds. So in one particular point in time, you may have a nice soft scene. Next thing you know, you have a very harsh scene. Um, and so as a photographer, you have to know how to play with those elements. Uh, and you have to know how to use those to your benefit um, so that the subject is always looking fantastic and you can get a consistent series of images with a consistent look throughout despite the fact that your only real light source has a mind of its own. I'm both a filmmaker and a photographer, so my goal is to really kind of tell the story in the most effective way possible. 
Uh, you know, sometimes uh, clients will come to me and they'll just want a series of stills. Sometimes they'll come and they'll have a, you know, a video or film or short film kind of concept in mind. Uh, sometimes they're looking for social media assets or looking for, you know, GIFs, cinemagraphs, that type of thing. Uh, my job is to kind of be a one-stop shop so that, you know, I can kind of provide all of those elements uh, or, you know, whatever it is that, you know, someone needs for their particular project. For this series, I created, you know, both kind of a short film, actually it's like three short films, as well as a series of stills. Um, you know, she was such a great athlete that I felt like, uh, you know, not capturing her in motion would be, you know, criminal. Um, so I wanted to really kind of capture her actually working. I wanted to capture the sweat. I wanted to capture, you know, the grace with which she moved. And I really wanted to um, tell a complete story. My name is Christopher Malcolm. I'm a Los Angeles-based lifestyle, fitness, and activewear photographer and director. Thank you for watching.